on my members only community i love you guys to the moon and back hit that like button let those ads play for at least 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from youtube if you like a personal reading with me everything you need to know is in the description box below grab your boo your hookah your blunt your spliff whatever it takes members only i love you guys for you to tap into these energies with me and we're just going to do a good little collective member only reading here and see what's going on in love here your overall energy is number six mirrors this situation is being caused by both of us look at your own role in this situation to help us change it yeah so i just feel like you know somebody just wants to meet you halfway scorpio or members only somebody just want to meet you halfway you know they they they're they're, red, they're tired of fighting they're tired of um not having that connection that you guys used to have or like they're used to having with you i feel like something kind of had you guys drift apart whether it be bills you know just like i feel like everyday life things i don't know if this is third party or what but we'll see and then you have the number 10 communications it says i watched i watch you on social media and the internet. It's my way of staying close and finding out more about you here. Yeah, I feel like your person, if you do something, you know, like some kind of podcast or if you're a tarot card reader, I feel like your person think every single message you make is about them. So I feel like they watch your social media really close. If you do tarot card readings, they watch your readings, especially the ones in their signs or whatever. They just, you know, they, they're looking for information. They're trying to see you know, how you truly feel. Because I feel like you may, maybe you're not talking to this person, Scorpio, at this time. Members only at this time. I keep saying Scorpio. I know I read for other signs as well, so. Another communication card. All right. So the overall energy is the number three. We are alchemists. We transform fear into love and shadow into light here. So, yeah, this person, this person really, you know, they really understand the connection you guys have, um, members only. And I feel like this person knows that you're their match because it says we are alchemists. They understand that they're matched up with per somebody that's of equal value to them, of equal ranking, okay? They feel motivated and inspired by you. That's just what I'm getting. Then you have the number seven, karmic ties. I've been giving my power away to people in my life. I'm learning to set boundaries. Absolutely. I feel like your person had to deal with, you know, setting boundaries with, with family members and, you know, so-called friends telling them how they should approach this situation with you or how they should live their life when it comes to you. I just feel like y'all, you know... Your kids are grown. I'm getting this message for somebody who doesn't have kids or their kids are grown. It's just like, you know, you have the you have the luxury of designing whatever type of life you want to live. And as long as you are part of it, this person, your person, they don't care what, what it is you do. Y'all can be in a hut in Jamaica or, you know, in, in Cabo in a in a cottage. I mean, they just want you present. That's just all I'm hearing. Like they they're waving the white flag. Okay, they don't they don't want to argue anymore, Scorpio. Scorpio, members only. Then you have the number three, another communication card. I care about you even when I act like I don't. I'm hiding my true feelings because I feel vulnerable. Yeah. That's what I feel like. This person has been like low-key, you know, not really showing that much emotions because I feel like you weren't um, members only. This person, they, you know, they want, they want... They want y'all to be in this, you know, committed relationship where it's just you and them. Because you're all they see. They care about you. They do. I just feel like they don't wear their heart on their sleeve because they don't really know if you feel the same. You know, I'm getting that type of energy. And then you have the number four mirrors. I wish you could see that you are mirror that we are mirroring each other right now. Yeah, this person feels like they're your soulmate or your twin flame, and they feel like, you know, you guys have a work to do, but they want to do it with you. Whatever that is, it's almost like them saying, "Tell me what to do. Tell me what I need to change. Tell me what I'm doing to hurt you. Like I want to make this right." And somebody sincerely wanting that. That's just what I'm getting. 
And then you have the number two, timing and intentions. There are subconscious fears affecting our ability to attract love and abundance. The universe is helping us make them conscious so we can easily attract what we want, including each other. So that, yeah, that two is giving me like two of cups here. I just feel like you're growing, um, members only. You're growing, you know, you're... You're learning how to press these dreams through. You're learning what it takes for you to start, you know, getting over these obstacles, this fear. You know, you know your ability to attract love and um, abundance is wrapped up in who you are on the inside. It's not wrapped up in to what you do because we know pure abundance and true abundance is not about money. It's about peace. It's about happiness. It's about good health. It's about good relationships, healthy relationships, right? Then you have the number four, time and intentions. I don't feel deserving and it's affecting my levels of abundance and opening and openness. Yeah. So I feel like that's what your person is going through. Like they, they really struggle with feeling deserving. I don't know what this person's issue is. I don't know. You know, if it sounds like they need to forgive themselves. It sounds like they, you know, but it sounds like they're ready, Scorpio. They want you to teach them. They realize that you did a lot of healing. They realize that you, you, you know, you have a lot of wisdom under your belt. And they're just not willing to let you go. Like they, they, they realize you're a catch and not so much about being a catch, but they realize this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm not saying that that's what my spirit guides are saying. This is how this person views you. Like they surrender all, whatever they have to do. I hear them praying to God. Asking God to change your heart about them. Asking God to change their heart about themselves. Okay. The number six, karmic ties. I know I need to release attachments with karmic people. I'm creating a plan to leave him or her. Yeah. So I just, I don't know. I just feel like. I feel like somebody's planning to leave. And I feel like it's you, um, members only. And I feel like. You know, your person is now they 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 see that this is the their last ditch effort. Like they want to work on it. And they genuinely want to work on it. Like this person, they they realize the error of their ways now, Scorpio members only. That's just what I'm getting here. Let's pull another energy really quick. To see what this person is. This is called the unspoken message. I want to see what their unspoken messages are. Like what are they not saying here? Because they're saying a lot, but they're really not you know, it's almost like they don't want to go into it. They don't know where to go or how to do this. They know you have that wisdom. They know you know what to do. And they just, they want to be led right now. You know, this person is comfortable enough with you to let to allow you to lead them. No matter what the, the gender, male or female, they're comfortable with you. So on this mirror, you have miss your hugs and kisses. Yeah, I feel like it says this situation is being caused by both of us. This person is missing you. This person is realizing how it would actually feel just to think. I mean, this person is missing you while you're in the house with them. But in their mind, in their hindsight, they're saying, how much more would I miss this person if we were broken up, if we were, like, done? Like, is it really worth me not doing this introspection and this shadow work that I hear her always or hear him always talking about? Like, can I even, what is that about? Like, let me make this decision. Like, whatever it is, I want to know everything of how you got through this person is serious about this connection. And on communication, it says, I watch you on social media and the internet. It says, truly, madly, and deeply. And you know the rest. Members only, they're deeply in love with you. They are truly, madly, and deeply. That's why they surrender. Like, it's okay while y'all doing the whole, you know, courtship, cat, cat and mouse, you know, Y'all figuring each other out, realizing the do's, the don'ts, the wills, the wants, you know, the compromise of the connection. But it's like at the end of the day, I don't care what the particulars are. I'm so madly and truly and deeply in love with you to like, I'm done playing games. Like, I don't want to play no more. So if this person was playing games with you or, you know, this little cat and mouse immature stuff, it's like now they surrender because they know you're serious. All right, so on karmic ties, I've been giving my power away to people in my life. You have, I get jealous. And that's, I feel like that's one of those things where you, where you do give your power away. 
when you're jealous of somebody instead of happy for somebody, I just feel like this person is coming from a place of, you know, they've been watching you. They've been stunning you. You know, they, they, they're curious now as to like, if you say you went through that, like, how did you get through that? What did you do? Like, I'm still, I'm messed up about this still 30 years later, 20 years later, like this still affecting my life. How did you get over it in two years? All right, it's that type of energy. And this person gets, this person low-key gets jealous of your success. Not jealous to the point where it causes y'all harm or some, some type of riff in y'all connection. But almost like they want what you got. They want that. And now they're willing to do whatever they have to do, um, members only, for, for them to be able to continue this path with you. All right, it says, I care about you even when I act like I don't. It's like this person is confessing. They're putting everything on the table now with you because it's like, there's no way you're walking out my life. There's no way. I can't afford it. Like some people understand, like some, some things you just don't give back. Some things that, you know, it, it prunes you, it presses you, it purges you. But at the end of the day, it makes you better because of it, right? Yeah, it says, I love your sin. And they do. I care about you even when I act like I don't. This person is very particular about everything about you. How you smell, how you look every day, the things you say, how you enunciate, how you, you know, your lingo, your love language. This person loves you. This person is so intimate when it comes to you. They 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 want to be into you like for real. They They literally, in every sense of the word. All right. And it says, I wish... You could see that we are mirroring each other right now. This person wants you to notice the fact that, you know, even though I'm not where I should be, I want you to know that I am mirroring you. You know, in other words, I am your match. I just need to know what I need to do to clear out what's going on with me. You know, because I this person, I feel like they never had the opportunity. They never had nobody to be straight up with them and love on them like you have, feed them and, you know actually hear something that they said they need it done and you just do it because you're so thoughtful this person ain't letting you go i wish you could see that we're mirroring each other it says i've been thinking about you that's always i just feel like y'all in a place now where y'all just not talking but it doesn't feel like separation yeah i want you i feel like this person is sexually frustrated as well they want to they want to connect with you because y'all are out of sorts right now. They feel like that intimacy will come with sex. That reconnection. They, they just need to feel you, I'm hearing. Let's see. And on timing and intentions, there are subconscious fears affecting our ability to attract love and abundance. You pulled, I'm not ready. So I feel like in the past, this is past energy. I feel like in the past, your person has not been willing to do this work. Why? Because they have not met anyone like you. They have not met anyone that can sit across from the table that was that had more wisdom than they did. Or somebody that, you know, they trusted it enough to, to guide them somewhere, to lead them somewhere, right? But I feel like with you, it's like, you know, they know the genuosity of your love, Scorpio, the pureness of it. No matter how rough around the edges you are, you know, members only, this person realized that the, 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 the rougher you are, they realize the gentleness of you, of your love, how you care for them. This person not letting you go. The thing is, this person don't feel deserving. It says, I don't feel deserving and it's affecting my level levels of abundance and, and openness. Yeah. This person knows that this would be a limitation on your connect with y'all's connection members only. And not only that, they know that it's something you wouldn't tolerate. Because you're healed. And that's why they're saying, look, I'm mirroring you. I'm mirroring you. I just, I'm not, I have not, I, I, I want to do this work, but I don't know what, what is the work. Can you show me? Can you walk me through it? It feels like that. Yeah, see, I'm proud of you. You inspire this person. And I feel like that I'm proud of you is just saying, you know, this person do the work. Like, you proud of them. Like, you glad you, you stayed as well, um, members only. That's just what I'm getting. All right. And it says, you know, because it, now this person is feeling deserving. You made this person feel special. This person never felt like this before. 
All right. And it says, I know I need to release attachments with karmic people. I'm creating a plan to leave him or her. That I want you came out. I saw it earlier. This person wants to be close to you. They want this intimacy. They need this intimacy because they feel like they're losing their grip. They feel as though they don't feel like you're cheating on them or anything like that. They just feel like you're drifting. You're leaving them behind. Like that's the last thing. That's that's the biggest fear that they have now about their life. So they're releasing attachments with people, karmic people. That that could be anybody, family, exes. Um, this could be something as sense as simple as them denouncing that you know that they're done with their exes. That they want you know all of that energy gone. They're clearing the space for you. That's what I'm hearing. This person realized you both are alchemists. They just don't realize their power because they don't have the wisdom. What else here? And then we're going to move into the tarot here. It says, it says, just let me go. And that's the energy. It's just like what I said. Somebody here needs to do a, a denouncing of exes. That's just that on that. And, and, and. To me, this just let me go. It's your it's your past, your ex's energy crying out saying, just release me. Like, forgive me. Let this shit go. It's, it's not worth it. And the overall energy says, I'm in a, a karmic situation. It was in the reverse. Okay. So this is your soulmate. This isn't a karmic connection. This is somebody, and you feel it, members only. You feel this connection with this person. What you what you don't like is the work that you're having to do, the introspection that you're having to do just to be able to deal with this person. That's what I'm getting. Like it's been a full time job. But what what I what I love about this person is it's been a full time job, but it's because they know not. You know, it's one thing when you know better, you got to do better. But this person didn't know, and now they're asking for you to lead them, and I love it, male or female, spirit guides, angels. I just saw the seven of swords in reverse. Show me what I need to see for members only. Give me clear, concise messages here for members only. All right. Yeah, see the nine of cups in reverse. Somebody doing a lot of heavy drinking too, I'm getting. But it's like this person knows you're this person's nine of cups. They're just not where you're at as far as emotionally being emotionally healed here. Yeah, the judgment. But now they're putting the ball in your court. They're saying, okay, members only, what you going to do about it? I know I'm supposed to be with you, even though I'm drinking a lot because I'm stressed because I'm, I'm worried that I'm losing my grip with you. You're not being intimate with this person, very standoffish and cold. Because, I mean, you want this shit to work. You, you're ready for it to like go forward like enough already. And, and now this person is telling you, okay, judgment is here. Tell me, show me. I, I can't lose you. That's just down on that. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. So a new beginning, um, an opportunity with this person. I feel like you do pour into this person again. And I feel like at the end of the day, this person is going is going to pour into you more than you pour into them. I feel like what you're what you're putting in it, into it, I feel like you're going to get so much more um, members only. I feel like this connection will last forever. But right now, the Five of Pentacles is the energy that you have this person in. I feel like, you know, you should take this person, you know, out of the cold energy, right? I mean, I feel like they've been on ice long enough, members only. This person wants a connection. They want a serious connection. When this person is saying they want to change, they really mean that. This person comes from... Um, a lot of, I'm, I'm hearing this person comes from a lot of naysayers, like people in their family who feel like because of their class or their status that they are not, or where they're at in life, they're not able to move forward. He's heard a lot of like lack talking. This person comes from lack. This person comes from uninspirational people, status quo people, you know, people that just only want to pay their bills and, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that, but like they don't have any ambition. They're just... You know, they're okay with, with where they're at in life. And he and this person, that's been their, you know, mindset. That's all they know. They've been around people that are docile, if that makes sense. I did a video, I think the last video, about dwarves. It's like, stop hanging around people that are small, that make you 
small because if if you continue to hang around them, you you have no room to grow. You have no example people to look at that are ins uh, inspiring, aspiring to be better. All right, so like I said, I feel like this person need to come out of this five of pentacles energy. Take them off ice. I feel like you should have sex with them. Really, be honest with you, because yeah, that would be that would be an immediate like message to this person that you're on board too, members only. Because this person admires you. They put you up on a pedestal. They expect you to be better than them because they, they're trusting you now. I feel like this person is watching you, watching you, watching you, watching you, watching you, okay? They want to know that they're, they're, they're not putting their heart in the wrong place. They want to know that you understand that they truly mean what they're saying here. All right, what else? Too many. What else here? Yeah, this person wants y'all's relationship, y'all connection to be a very healthy connection here. Yeah, the tower. I'm telling you, this person, they, they could be walking away from uh, a job. They could be relocating. They're making a sacrifice here, I feel like, members only. I feel like this person is really putting their money where their mouth is. Like they, they, They're actually showing you that this is what they need. And it's working, but I feel like sex... Get the get the um the sexually frustrated thing out the way because I feel like this person they're beginning to start to focus on other narratives which that's not what you want them to do. See the hangman in reverse. They're starting to get stuck on stupid. They they they're starting to maybe think that maybe you want somebody else now or like you're not coming back. So I feel like you should let this per put this person at ease. The world card. Let them know that that cycle has passed. Let them know that, you know, you're willing to teach them. You're willing to work with them. They've shown you that, you know, that they're surrendering, that you can trust them. You can trust what they're saying, right? You actually see them doing the work. Yes, the Ace of Cups, I can't make it up. I feel like you find a new, a newfound love for this person, a newfound respect. Like your cup runs over. Like, like I said earlier, what you're about to invest in this person, you're going to get so much more. You're going to get the, the Ace of Cups. What you invest in members only is just something you do for anybody. But what you're going to receive from that is going to last a lifetime. The Four of Pentacles, this person ain't never letting you go, and you ain't never letting them go. And the thing about it is this person only see you. I love it. They only see you. This person could be anywhere doing anything. I feel like this person is very handsome, very, like, well-educated. This person could even be foreign. Okay. Because I feel like they speak other languages. Don't have to be. But you show this person love and they, they're so grateful. I promise you they're going to reciprocate more than you ever seen in your life. This is, this is a fairy tale affair. The courtship. Yeah, the three, the um, queen of pentacles. This person sees you as very abundant. Very charming. Okay. Business minded. Yeah, the two of pentacles. This person sees you as somebody who's juggling a lot. But you're making it work. They they really admire your hustle too. I just heard that. All this person wanted some good sex. They want to be close to you. They want to be intimate with you. The, the Knight of Cups, you just do it for this person. They don't want to go out with their friends. They don't want to they don't want to entertain other people. They just want you. Yeah, the three of cups. I told you, like, if they entertaining, they 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 it's just close family and friends and you, like three people. They don't want they don't want anybody like it's it's not it's not like possessiveness, but it's like everything about you is a piece of them. Like everything they 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 feel that connection literally. Like they always keep no matter where y'all at, I feel like no matter it could be a thousand people in the room, I feel like y'all always able to find each other in the storm. Who am I talking to? That's what kind of love you're investing in right now, members only. Period. Let's get a um let's get a love oracle here. That knight of cups stands for could could also be um a marriage proposal. This three of cups could be you, you know, celebrating with, with close family and friends, a bridal shower or something like this. Yeah, it says let your friends help. Yep, that's what's going on. So this that overall energy is you getting together with family and friends and them helping you plan your wedding here. Your honeymoon. Yeah, you called in your soulmate. Yes, romantic feelings. 
I, I just feel like y'all are on a whole nother level now. This person is actually doing the introspection work. You know, this person followed your lead, Scorpio, and you 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 didn't mislead them. That's what they 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 knew it though. They had some type of reservation about trusting you, but they but they went through with it because of the love, the connection. And now they're glad that they did. It said your feelings are real and worth exploring. <laughs> yes, it is. So it's good. It's good that you do this. Because it's like, you just giving one more person another chance. Something you said you would never do, but good thing you did. It says, healing family issues. It says, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay. What else? It said, it is safe for you to love. Yeah. That's why I said go ahead and sleep with him. Give it this this person wants to feel you. Remember only. They they have to the intimacy. This will reconnect you guys really quick. This is like a like a jolt of electricity. They need that. It says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, all love. Yeah, this is sex. It's safe for you to have sex now. Remember only this person they want to they have to like, cause at this point they're drinking a lot. They're feeling like you don't want them with judgment. They're being very harsh on themselves. The five of pentacles, you put them on, you know, out in the cold, like, psh. but they come back ready. They come back wanting to, you know, work on whatever this connection is. Cause they don't want to live without you. Um, on the overall energy on the bottom of the deck says finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. All right, so whatever this is, as far as the the finances and the career, I feel like it's going to work each up, work itself out. I feel like for some of you guys with this, somebody may have to relocate here, you know, and that may that may mean leaving an uh, opportunity behind. But with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like whatever you leave behind, you're going to gain it in this connection. The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. Six of Wands, no, no matter what you guys give up for this connection, you'll get it back a hundredfold, I'm hearing. All right, members only, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, tip the channel. Your name goes into a raffle for a free reading. If you like a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. And once a month, I will be doing y'all separate members only raffle for you guys. It's free reading about y'all's donations, okay? I love you guys, Scorpio. See you in the next video. Membership only. Membership only.